This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so you can see here if this is uh, the small chunk of code simulating diagram, A and B matrices are given to us. This K1 and K2 are a part of LQR controller. And uh, I want the last two states to be tracked. So I'm interested in the last two states. If I run this one, I have used the sinusoidal. If it is a standard step signal, it is quite easy to solve this one. So you can see, I don't know if you can see my screen. So these are the two states, uh, uh, which control states. You can see that both of them are, you know, more or less following this. If you want exactly, so here it is already overlapped to one and two and the error is very low. If you want this also, this error also to be very low, then what you can do is you can uh, uh, you can go for further fine tuning of uh, the particular thing. If I zoom this particular one, I don't know whether my graphics card will allow. You can see that the two states are very close here. The reference one and the actual one. You can see that one is at 1.969 and the another in is 1.97 so in the third decimal places so so this is what about the lqr control with this uh, i end my uh, lqr control session so what i will be sending you in an hour is the lqr control paper lqr control sample or the skeleton file and you have to only tune q and r value and try to get you know whether you could able to get the parameters files also I will, I will not be sending you you have to rather i will send you only the simulating file not the parameter file you just develop your own parameter file based upon everything is in the paper okay so so with this i conclude my lqr and pole placement controller design however i will throw some light on tomorrow's lecture what i will be teaching you what we will be discussing and uh, and what is the philosophy of tomorrow's class will be discussed now. So tomorrow I'll be discussing about uh, the sliding mode control. So you might have heard about the sliding mode control. What is it and uh, why it is required in other so the motivation for this sliding mode control is the first thing is if your plant is nominal the meaning of the nominal is nominal plant means if you assume that all your para plant parameters are constant or they are not varying with respect to time with respect to temperature with respect to the aging and uh, it is always you assume that it is constant which seldom happens for example if you consider the dc motor you can you cannot always say that the armature resistance and armature inductance will be the constant you know throughout uh, the life so nominal plant means the plant which has been made up with the nominal values however the parametric uncertainty is one such uh, is one such uh, uh, thing which all the real systems real life systems will see the parameters of the plant may vary Due to the internal mechanism or due to the external mechanism and the disturbances disturbances are also inevitable that means you cannot avoid the disturbance so if your plant is uncertain if if you want to reduce the effect of disturbance then one can go for the robust control and sliding mode control is one such robust control method which has the capability to deal with uncertain plants uh, with disturbances so there are basically the three steps or the four steps are there for the sliding mode control design. The first is a sliding surface design. The second one is uh, based upon the Lyapunov theory, we have to uh, develop the reachability condition. The important thing uh, to this to note here is Lyapunov based stability we'll be using for the sliding surface and the sliding mode control design. What does this Lyapunov function say? If the system is linear, there are around 50 such uh, methods to find the stability of a linear system. However, when it comes to the non-linear systems, there are not many. And one 
one such method which has been used from you know centuries or decades is the lyapunov stability to find the stability of a to find the stability of a nonlinear system uh if you say in a colloquial language the lyapunov stability I, i will just tell in two sentences select the positive definite lyapunov function positive definite means if you choose any value for that particular function it will always be positive this we have discussed uh, in detail in epic 1.0 for example if it is a single state i will select v equal to x square so my lyapunov function v will always be positive irrespective of the x because i am take my i have defined my function in such a way that it is square of the states x square so what does this mean if x equal to 0.1 if it is positive or negative it doesn't matter because you are taking the square so your lyapunov function v always be positive definite always be positive that's why i am saying the positive definite and for the stability there are various notions and uh, v of x uh, when x tends to infinity then v of x should also go to zero so that is happening if you substitute x equal to zero so x square is your lyapunov function so lyapunov function will also go to zero. this we will discuss again uh, very briefly and the derivative the first derivative of the lyapunov function should be negative definite negative semi definite in some cases that means the v dot if you take uh, the derivative it should be the negative definite for the stability uh, so from that we will define we will design a various uh, reachability conditions and uh, control design is completely based upon that you know so the Following or the testable is following for this particular sliding mode control. Uh, by the sliding mode control theory and application by Christopher Edwards and Saras Perlman. And uh, the second testable uh, is also uh, 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 Christopher Edwards is the second author by Yuri by Yuri Shitzel, uh, Christopher Edwards and uh, I think Friedman and Levin. These I think these these four have written a testable. uh which is uh, available you know online you mean online means you may be knowing better than me it is available online the test book so that book uh, we will be following this test book for the toy problems and uh, what tomorrow we will be solving two different paper will be discussing two different papers that also i will show you so before going to that a very simple uh, thing what i am going to show you here here is uh, this is the block diagram which we will discuss don't go much in details of this don't think too much tomorrow anyhow we will discuss so this is a plant this is a double integrated plant with us two integrates are connected in series so this is a double integrated plant this is the control law so we'll be using two different control laws so one control law we'll be using two different uh, control law one control law is uh, the linear one and the second one is the non linear one uh, we'll see if if you use only one control law you can see that for a particular value you will get uh, you know uh, like this this is called as a phase portrait phase portrait that means plotting one state variable with respect to another variable since it is a second order system it is a two states so one state in the x axis and the another state in the y axis so you can see that something like this in another case if i select a different uh, values different values of case different uh, initial condition and so on so you are getting like this but independently if you see these two if i select the same thing these two are not exactly the stable one when can i say stable if the system is starting from some initial condition and after some time if it is coming back to the origin then we call to the equilibrium point or so called equilibrium point we call it is stable or asymptotically stable or so on from the phase portrait you can see from the phase portrait if you see like this then this will implicate a kind of sinusoidal or oscillatory response in the time domain that means if you plot the x axis with respect to the time uh, if your x axis is the time and the y axis is x1 or x2 you will get a sinusoid uh, response which is not the stable one for the stability what you want sustained oscillation is not the stable stable response it should go to you know it should settle at some value or it should go to the zero so individually if i use these two particular uh, control law you can see that uh, system is not stable 
however if i combine these two or if i use the variable structure control that means structure of the control if it varies that means if i if i if i merge these two control techniques then i'll be getting something like this so variable structure so independently if you design the two different control laws it will it, it is not giving the stable response but if you use the different structures one from one controller and another from another controller then you can see that what is happening here is from initial condition it is spiraling to the origin so that's why it is called as a variable structure control so the meaning here is one control individually may not give you the stable response but if you combine both of the uh, responses both of the control structures if you vary the structures then it will give you the you know stable response so so this we will discuss this is one such type problem another toy problem we will discuss uh, is bit uh, bit advanced than that one so so what we will be discussing here is the plant in that earlier case the plant we assume that the plant is quite nominal but here we are adding the disturbance as if we add the disturbance additional disturbance as well and uh, so this is the linear control if you see the linear control the disturbance is quite visible here but if i use the sliding mode control you can see that you know this is basically without disturbance and this with disturbance you can see that in the presence of disturbance uh, the linear control cannot handle but if i use a sliding mode controller you can see that in the presence of uh, disturbance this with the disturbance both are almost one or the same so that means by using the sliding mode controls you can you know attenuate the disturbance as well so but uh, there is one problem when you use the sliding mode control this is the control surface and this is the sliding surface which we'll discuss in very detail so you can see that the main problem with the sliding mode control is this high frequency control action and this is in sliding mode control literature is called as a chattering there are uh, many ways to avoid this chattering one such ad hoc way is Uh, to approximate uh, the sigmoid function instead of using the exact sigmoid or sine function if we approximate with uh, some linear approximation in some region then we can avoid this one or the another way is by going by going for the higher order sliding mode control uh, these are the two papers which we will simulate tomorrow uh, the one such paper is uh, 2010 and 2012 so closed loop analysis and cascade control for a non minimum phase boost converter and uh, this is another pi and sliding mode control of cup converter so these two papers uh, we will simulate and uh, i will explain you how to do this one as well tomorrow so with this i i end my session here and i will take uh, i will take i can take some quick questions from you and uh, maybe i may request all of you if if possible can you keep it uh, uh, your videos on for a for 10 seconds i want to take it screen shot for my records my request to you, if if you don't have any issues please keep it your videos on for 10 seconds i will take the screen shots for my personal records and uh, In fact, I have not kept my video on. Let me keep my video as well. So, so thank you very much. You can now you know close your videos. So nice to see all of you. So it is nice to see that 94 of you are watching till at nine o'clock as well. And uh, sincere apologies for starting for. for the delay at the start and i will ensure that it will not happen from tomorrow moment and this is due to an avoidable you know meeting which i couldn't able to avoid so that is from my side those who want to stay and have some discussion we can otherwise other can you know uh, if you have any queries we will discuss now and uh, other people if you are interested to involve in the discussion you are happy otherwise uh, you can quit so So now we will be having uh, you know 
the question answer sessions two sessions and the rule what we kept here is no more than two questions from a particular participant just to give equal opportunity to everyone i'll be here for since uh, half an hour and today there will will not be any quiz tomorrow there will be quiz of uh, uh, 20 marks hello hello yes. sir yeah hello uh, sir what is the meaning of singular response of a singular value of frequency response singular value of a frequency response okay so if the system is though this is not relevant to the discussion to so what i suggest is if we we limit ourselves for the questions to the topics what we have covered however i will answer your question if it is a single input single output system then what if you are going for the frequency response plot then what a plot is the one which will give you the gain margin and phase yes sir however when it uh, comes to the multi input multi output system analyzing the system by using the traditional bode plot is very difficult so for that okay. one for mimo frequency response we plot the singular plots singular plots are basically the magnitude equivalent magnitude plot for cisco bode plots so that's what we call the singular singular value plots okay okay sir thank you sir hello sir yeah sir please please tell your name because uh, uh, yes, we sir. would like to just your name from where you are interviewed that's it and then you can start the question yes sir myself husain sheikh sir ha ah, yes uh, we late hyderabad yeah yeah i remember i remember sir, I did, from vnr uh, some vijay iit right yeah vijay iit sir yes sir thank yeah, you yeah, yes, sir yeah. Uh, yeah sir i have two questions sir yes uh, one thing one uh, first one is the basic one of course sir while writing yeah. the m file while designing the parameters uh, in a plant uh, Uh, do we have to mention the units of all the plants units means it will only take the parameters will take the numbers so you have to ensure that if you are mentioning if some of the parameters are in hertz you have to take all the parameters in hertz itself or if it is in radian per second you have to take in radian per second you have to use the same you know units you cannot use uh, you know uh, you cannot use different units for a particular parameters suppose no, sir, you are mean, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir uh, do you mean that we, uh, in the m file we have to mention that one i mean we have to write that one for example time no, is no, no, it, time. Is, it is it is not required it is not required it is just you can Only put it in the comments percentile symbol you can write okay. i will show you one okay, such okay. Uh, uh, yeah. i will show you this time sharing my yes, screen sir. and i will show you uh, one parameter file yes sir yeah this is uh, a parameter file i will show you for the linear uh, control log okay which we will see. yeah something this is the parameters you can see that this is the parameters k1 yes, sir, equal yes, to 3 k2 equal to 4 and c equal to you don't this is just you you need to write you don't have to write anything else by default okay. if you want to write something that what is this you can write that units in you know you need say not pm or whatever okay. that is for readability of so for example yeah readability let us comment comment yeah. comment sir for example if you are mentioning time for example uh, you mean that we need not to mention seconds or hours something like that no, no, only no. number only number your matlab will not run your code will not run okay okay sir uh, the second one yeah you said that the sliding mode controller is uh, uh, for the plants where we have uh, variable parameters sir where the parameters yep. are tend to change the time it's to time it's not normal yeah 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 but but sir uh, uh, in fact actually all plants are like that only in fact, i mean, I mean uh, we have yes. so many plants where variables are uh, keep on changing with the time then why yes. particularly you are mentioning the for uh, smc only that it uh, it is meant for only no. uh, in time no. during no 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 i, I didn't mention sliding mode control is one such uh, one such uh, controller which comes under the robust control category there are many controllers h and d control can deal with parametric uncertainty adaptive controls like mrc can deal with uh, adaptive control mechanics uh, mechanisms can deal with uncertainty sliding mode okay. controller is one such candidate which has the capability to deal with uncertainty 
Yes, yes sir, I understood. For that matter, yeah. I think uh, all controllers are like that only. I think. I mean, every no, controller has all. to deal. With, uh, not, okay. not all, not all. If you see, uh, that's what I am going to show you in uh, tomorrow. That if you use a simple PI controller, it is insensitive to. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I can show you this one. Uh, uh, just a minute. I will share yes. my screen with you. Uh, the results. Uh, what we will be going to discuss with you. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we will be discussing this. Yeah, this example. Just now, what we discussed. You can see if you use the linear control, the, it is basically the pole placement controller. So what yes, exactly? If you see, this is the plant. This is the plant, and this is the controller. Uh, yes, I kept switches. So this is for the linear controller. This is for the sliding mode controller, and uh, this is for uh, zero disturbance, and this is for sinusoid disturbance. So what actually here it is happening? If you use the normal linear controller. Without disturbance, you can see that this is the what the trajectory looks like. Okay, it has not changed. So you mean that we have plants yeah. where parameters don't change? No, there are no such plants. Even even if there are some changes in the parameters, also it doesn't affect much. For example, the input voltage what we are getting 220 volts. If it is changing by you know 5 10 percent, let us assume by you know instead of 220, if we are getting some 215 or 230, it doesn't matter much to us, right? So okay. that is not the critical. Case. However, there are much uh, many changes. Uh, like if, if it is affecting significantly, then we need. see this. This this the left one is a linear control without any external you know disturbance. So with disturbance, the linear controller is giving something like this. But if I use the sliding mode control, this is the sliding mode control. Then you can see that in so it is completely rejecting the disturbance. Okay. You can see that both both of them look more or less the same. Thing. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah. Hello, sir. This is Shivram. Uh, my question yes, is yes. Uh, regarding yeah. the values KP and KPKI KD. Yes. So what is the resultant significance of these values? Let's say, for example, if I consider the hydropower plant, what exactly yeah. these values are in real time? I mean, what exactly? It, I mean, which component actually will change by changing this KPI theory? Okay, so nowadays, uh, once upon a time, we were using the this PID controller by using the RLC circuit. We used to realize this PID controller by using the RLC circuit, the combination of RLC circuit. But nowadays, nobody is using that uh, you know analog uh, uh, PID tuners, PID values. But everything is now digital. So the KP, KA, KD are three such values which will completely dictate your system. When you go for the digital controllers, it is it is nothing but only the gains in your particular, uh, uh, whether it could be any digital uh, processors like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. So it will, uh, so for your two area system as well. So it can, you know, so the only thing what it takes from the outside is the RF. The controller will, PID controller will take the errors. And and based upon this gains KP, KI, KD values, it will give the desired control input to the power. So what how we are realizing that depends upon the application at hand. So nowadays everything is the digital controls. These are just the values uh, in which can be dumped in D space or which can be dumped in any Opel RT or anything. These are just the gain values which will have significant impact if you don't choose appropriately <coughs> your uh, control signal which is coming uh, out. Coming out of the PID controller uh, will not uh, stabilize the system. So they are essentially software PIDs. Now, if you are using the digital controllers, they are just the values, gain values. In yes, the early days, we used to use the gain. We used to use the gain amplifiers, amplifiers, uh, you know, for for KP, and for the integrators, we used to realize by using the standard one by CS, uh, the with the capacitor, and uh, and so on. And the derivative, you know, LDIB, DT, and the conventional way it used to happen like that. But now only these are just the numbers. So there can be hardware uh, PID controller also, right, sir? I mean, you can use integrator circuit or differentiator circuit and amplifier for. Uh, uh, yes, PID. it can. Be. Yeah, hardware it can be done. So there are two ways. Again, I'm saying there are two ways. Either you can realize, uh, you know, PID controller to using. Uh, uh, that uh, conventional RLC or you know you can use any 
electronics or electrical devices to realize the PID controller. Otherwise, you can use uh, the digital controller. So nowadays, nobody, very few. I I don't think anyone is using this the PID controller realization by using uh, that uh, RLC. So it is you can directly dump it, and everything is available. The codes, even this MATLAB code also, it is directly you can write in the MATLAB whatever we are doing right directly it can be dumped into the disk space and it will work okay thank you sir hello sir good evening sir, sir this is ravi kiran uh, from ragu engineering college uh, yes to continue the same question like uh, even if we have some uh, controller digital controller also yeah. Yeah. Uh, once we get the control output yeah if we take kpk kd uh, with high values okay uh, then uh, obviously uh, control output will also be high no yes of course it will be high and so, if the control so output it should be is limited high, yeah that's why so in very nominal case what is we are discussing is unconstrained control law we assume that there are no constraint on the control law that means your actuator mm -hmm. can take you know generally that uh, your control law goes to the actuator and your actuator has that much bandwidth to take you know the faster or the large values as well however if if you see that whatever the controller you are using or the high gain values you are using if your system cannot realize so you can use different values of gains lower values of gains there are zillions of combination of pid values are possible so for your applications if you think that high gain is is disastrous you cannot able to so physically realize that one use the lower gains then uh, uh, if we use auto tuning techniques yeah uh, will it be possible to realize uh, yeah. exactly yes. right? auto, auto tuning uh, we techniques. do not have any constraints right no 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 auto tuning technique also has in the by using the auto tuning techniques also there are zillions of combination possible that's why in one minute if you just drag the kpk kd values will keep on changing so you you may be by by you know just dragging the two such uh, sliders you may able to know which one is uh, uh, contributing to the larger gain values and accordingly you can tune that one so that so that is not a big problem the auto tuning method also gives uh, you know various uh, gain values it could be the very less one or very large one and so on and one more thing uh, in in that pid tuning itself there is uh, an option where you can set the pid controller output uh, saturated output as well if you if you double click the one there is there is one option if you don't okay. want your control signal to go beyond a particular saturation value then uh, you can uh, then you can select uh, uh, that particular option as well so that is also possible then that problem will become non linear yeah of course it will is become non linear because yeah you don't want it doesn't matter if it is linear or non linear uh, if the work has been done so this sliding mode control is also a non linear control if you want to apply the sliding mode control for the linear system as well your controller will be the non linear which i will demonstrate uh, you know uh, very soon tomorrow okay sir thank you sir can i ask a question this is satya from it yes yeah uh, so uh, uh, we have discussed about the lqr integral controller right in a in a publication yeah lqr uh, yeah so uh, yeah lqr integral so there we have augmented two states ah, with sir, sir, yeah, sir, 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 yeah. Sir, yeah. can yeah. you please just give me a minute because i will be showing uh, uh, mr ravi kiran uh, where okay. to set up that particular option ravi are you there okay yes sir ravi yeah yes, i'm sir, just sharing sir. my screen i will show you whether it is yeah you can see the screen here so in this option pid okay. advanced option there is limit output is there if you want to limit you know your outputs to the maximum minimum value it is still possible if the integral action to avoid that one there is some anti wind up mechanism also there if you want uh, to use that one there are two three methods for the anti wind up method as well when you are limiting this one then this if you activate one of such this anti wind up then you know it will uh, give you it will limit your uh, gains to that particular values okay okay sir thank you yeah uh, yeah now uh, mr satya satya yes, hello yeah. yeah yeah 
so we in this in the, in the lqr integral controller we have actually augmented two states by considering the integrals right yes, yes. so yeah. uh, in the modified in the modified system matrix you can see that you you will obviously get two columns of uh, zeros like yes. redundant, redundant yes. columns and yes. and corresponding in the c matrix also you will have a reflection of that yes am i right yeah so yeah, in this way yeah in this way so are you not losing the observability property of the uh, system no you will not use because this control design is is completely different from uh, the observer design so what we have to ensure that the first three states if they are controllable if the first three states are controllable if they completely controllable the remaining two are the integral states itself then obviously if you can control uh, the states then integral values of the states can can not inherently can can be controlled automatically okay there are three states if all the three states are controllable then what we are doing is we are taking the integral actions of that one so so there is a possibility it is a highly possible that you can easily control that one i don't think uh, we, you'll be losing some properties uh, of that one yeah and in fact Good. and in fact in fact it doesn't mean that the system has become fifth order you need five sensors you you can still go with the two sensors itself if you, if you are designing the observer one state you can estimate and based upon those values you can play around with uh, by placing the integrator you can get the corresponding integral uh, integral state values as well okay okay so got it Hello, sir. Good evening, yeah. sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, huh? sir uh, tomorrow you are taking two papers, no, sir. Yes, yes, yeah. I will send you those two papers immediately now. No, no, no sir, sir. You kindly, it's a request, sir. Uh, if possible, uh, you can do from uh, <coughs> power system, sir. At uh, one paper Already from two, power system. Uh, because why? Sliding mode. The two uh, sliding mode uh, for sliding the power system. Company. Yeah, because the two multi-area system multi-area systems i will see i will see because i have to write the code i have not written the code so why i have okay. taken the two papers on the power electronics is because if you if you can able to do one uh, one simulation then another simulation will yeah. take only 10 more minutes to do that but i will look into that uh, power system aspect as well but i will take a toy power system problem because the uh, doing uh, that one and uh, tomorrow i have some meetings in the morning so i will try to do some small power system sliding mode control design Okay, sir. One more question, I, sir. I, I, How far is this fuzzy yeah. system is better or uh, sliding mode control is better, sir? See, all uh, if you generally we cannot compare. Uh, you know, uh, if you uh, frankly speaking, if you are going for once one control is better than other control, there were lots of arguments. So the things what happening okay. here is people are not comparing apples with apple because the fuzzy is completely different thing and uh, and uh, you know. the sliding mode control concepts are completely different i mean you cannot always say that you know in some cases fuzzy may work better than smc and smc may work better than fuzzy but the problem with no, the fuzzy the same thing parameter, is sir. Yeah, sir, yeah. so for the same parameter so we, like, we we are not changing any parameter values sir. for a three plant I mean, plant system, parameter I'm working on parameter. yeah plant parameter yes that's what i'm saying control there area, are thousand Yeah, control yeah, area yeah, parameters yeah. and the plant parameters i am considering sir in a, a restructured power system deregulated environment i am doing sir actually mm -hmm, mm -hmm. first fuzzy system can, is applied yeah. and no see yeah, if you see the fuzzy controller that depends upon what you are doing with the fuzzy controller if you are if you are designing a pid control with the fuzzy control then eventually you will be getting the three control itself the structure what i am saying that the structure of the control or the parameter of the control itself will vary if i design the same with the lqr controller then there will be the gains k1 k2 k3 there will not be any integral if i am going with the sliding tell me sir hello there is no such control law where you can you cannot compare one controller with another controller it completely depends upon the problem at hand the problem is very simple 
if i say that if i go for the sliding mode control for a very simple where uh, everything is nominal there is no disturbance no parametric variation then people will not appreciate because p control or pa control will do the task with simply kp and k there is no non linear chatting will happen but if the system is very complex uh, or or your target or your purpose is different if you want to reject the uncertainties or if you reject want to reject the disturbances then one has to go for the pi uh, sliding mode control with a trade off that your control action will have chattering and that need to be eliminated by using the mechanism yeah uh, sorry this fractional calculus theory can apply for some sliding mode sir yes yes i will be that okay. is my next uh, i have kept that for uh, you know fdp 3.0 where i'll be discussing about fractional pid controller fractional uh, lqr controller fractional sliding mode controller and so on but not okay. now it will two three months later yeah okay so sure. thank you thank you yes thank you sir yeah okay about yes anyone any any other questions otherwise uh, we will wind up uh, this uh, this session anyone is having any queries let me see the chat box because i have not seen the chat box for a long time uh, somebody has written good afternoon talking from nigeria i i could do them sir with the tutorials you provided okay somia i have tried the paper uh, but the frequency deviation option is not stable tending to zero okay good evening dr jyoti prasad what method of pid has been used in math that already i discussed for a long time when i when i seen it was imc but now they keep on changing the algorithm uh, what method of is yeah again the same question has been asked by i don't know someone why not industry are updating to latest controls in the pid control yeah this is why if something is working very fine then why i will go with the complex uh, method uh in some complex applications like aerospace where their requirement is completely different then people are going for the advanced control if everything is working fine with pi controller then why why i should go like isro is following the same path to go to moon or wherever though it is very longer uh, than the conventional nasa's path but why because it has been proved and they don't want to take the risk similarly pi controller if, if something simple is doing the task then why should one go for the you know uh, complex method The robust system, which can be put in DCS controller, new controller might add. Uh, yeah, the same. Samarjit Patnaik has responded. Uh, we are argumenting the system. The same question he has asked. Sir, there are generalized method to. There are no such generalized method to find Q and R matrices. The only thing is Brightons rule, which is which says that one by maximum of error square, the maximum possible changes one by that maximum variation one by axis. Suppose uh, two states are current and speed for a DC motor. So I can say that. Uh, it q matrix should be the diagonal matrix and the first element if it is equivalent to the q matrix then i will see the maximum variation uh, maximum variation in the current and one by maximum that square will be the element uh, corresponding to the current and the second one again one by maximum changes in the speed one by omega square that particular to start with that is the brightness method and from that we can do can we use optimization methods yes yes people have used the uh, you know optimization method all such uh, uh, heuristic methods you know that uh, all pso and other methods people have used sir you are not visible some other is visible i am not visible i don't know raghav sharma i don't know who is visible i am here only nobody is here yes, sir you are not visible sir now also i am not visible yes sir you are not visible sir who is visible sir somebody else is visible no sir that title is visible sir fdp 2.0 day 1 july that that is okay 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 maybe i think i think i don't i shared my screen some technical issues are there uh, sir can uh, you share uh, you have to choose a uh, uh, who is talking yeah yeah that we talking in the uh, top most yeah yeah, yeah yeah that i think i he has to choose that one sir uh, he is uh, Yeah, yeah I think I is so. choose and hide yeah. everyone. That's why it is showing like that. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, so that is fine. Okay, so somehow I will stop sharing. I will again. You know, I will share. I think now I am visible, ah. Huh? Not fine, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. 
<laughs> okay doesn't matter whether i am visible or not but un- unless i am not audible that will be the problem sir can you show me the lqr model in matlab i will be giving you controlling the turbine speed and power system problem have become very common revolution changer with some complicated circuits and common patterns of problems and power systems so please discuss controller for power return yes sir patabiram sir i will be discussing uh, what is the mean by quasi state which uh, tomorrow i will uh, discuss uh, uh, arjun hanuman uh, paradigm so quasi state is uh, is something which is not exactly the state quasi sliding mode is not exactly the sliding mode we are just taking some bond now what we want uh, that uh, that sliding state to go to zero in the reachability condition if it is going instead of zero if we are maintaining some small bond then we call it as, as a quasi sliding mode and so on we will be discuss uh, that aspects later yes sir so any other questions if not then we'll wind up so today it was a very long day we started at the morning and uh, for me so yes sir yes. i think yeah somebody has put some question and let me see thank you sir yeah thank you thank you very much so tomorrow we will be discussing uh, various aspects of uh, uh, sliding mode control and we will i will just give you some glance of sliding mode observer as well but today i'll be sending you uh, the two or three papers and a skeleton of lqr symboling code thank you thank i'm you, ending sir. this i good hope night, nobody has any else good night good night